There's a tale around these parts. One they tell on a nights like tonight. Halloween night. Of an ancient evil that lives in an old barn in the middle of nowhere. One night, a group of kids just like you. They stumbled on that barn. And they awoke in that evil. Then, one by one, the creatures that they unleashed slaughtered, dragged them into the darkness. The last two boys of the group, they fought the monsters. And they tried to send them back to the blackest pits of fiery hell where they came from. But before they could, the entire barn burst into flames. Now, nobody knows what truly happened that night, but one lone survivor who made it out alive. Now, some say that those things are still out there, out here, waiting to be unleashed again and finish what they started. Whoa. You ever heard of the old railroad incident? The one where all those workers got killed by that runaway train? And they say, if we go down to the old cemetery late at night, they could still hear the clamoring of them working on the tracks just like they were on that fateful day. Zombie Railroad. So, really, how did they do it? How did they awaken the monster? I think that'd be a good question for our fire starting badge expert and special guest of the evening, Scoutmaster Henry. Thank you, Scoutmaster Henry, which, by the way, this rendition of that legend is his story. And also, thank you so much for finding this campsite. Oh, you can call me preacher. <clears throat> In order to awaken them, you have to knock on the barn doors and say, trick or treat. <laughs> Three times. Oh, so kind of like that game we played while the troop leader was setting up camp? It's exactly like that game. Wait, what? Okay, boys, I think that's uh, enough of the Halloween spooky stories for one night. Ew. I'll let you guys finish this bag of marshmallows if you promise to call it a night. <laughs> No, no, it, it could have been any barn. All I had to do was to seal the markings in blood to bring you home. I know about that, but that little bastard got away too. The, the newspapers claim she's right here in this town. Soon, we will reclaim <laughs> what is rightfully ours.
it's the start of our fall semester, and what does that mean? Our annual sorority hall fundraiser. That's right. It's also the Gamma Tau Psi Halloween Bash. Thanks to some certain sisters who were caught giving lap dances during our haunted house last year on campus, they will no longer allow the event to take place here. <laughs> as funny as you may all think this is, it puts us in quite a predicament with the fall fundraiser. We can always have a car wash. Or how about a wet t-shirt contest? That's true. Doesn't matter what the event is anyway. The guys only come out to support two things. <laughs> <laughs> what about a bake sale? A Battle of the Bands competition? What about a kissing booth? Uh, yeah, have you seen some of the nerds on campus? There's no way I'm gonna just kiss any guy that pays a couple bucks. So you won't do that, but you'll do it on the weekends for free? Ouch! <laughs> okay, getting back on track, I would like to make a motion to take our annual haunt into town and relaunch Halloween. An off-campus haunt? That would make a lot of sense. I did read where the mayor's been receiving a lot of complaints over the past two years and has finally decided to lift the trick-or-treat ban this year. Okay, Heather, go on. I'm listening. Well, as all of you are aware, uh, my younger brother, Josh Harper, is one of the teens that went missing a couple years ago on Halloween night, thus helping Sarah Barnhart, a.k.a. Psycho Preacher, to put the axe on Halloween in town. I, for one, feel that Sam Daniels and my brother were the heart and soul of trick-or-treating in this town with their haunted garage, and I think it would be fitting to pay tribute to them with this opportunity. Sounds like a big undertaking. You think you can do it in six weeks? I think so. Sister Michelle? I know that we're all obligated to help out with the fundraiser anyway, but I think what Heather's trying to do is a great idea, and if she's willing, I'd love to partner up and see it all the way through. You do. <laughs> That's a little surprising. Why? I think Sister Lisa and probably all of us are just a little shocked that you'd want to be involved with something that's so close to the whole. I get it. I, I do, but you don't have to tiptoe around it. I appreciate it, believe me, but I'm okay with it. I think on a large scale, Sam and Josh's haunted house would be the perfect way to kickstart Halloween and get back a Barnhart. <laughs> And that's something I can totally get behind, it. and I think that Sam and Josh would too. Okay. Does anyone disagree with this motion? So it's decided. Heather and Michelle will both lead this year's fundraiser. Don't let the sorority down, ladies. I have very high hopes for this one. All right, if there are no more questions to be asked, then this week's meeting is over. Thank you so much for agreeing to help out with this project. Uh, I actually wanted to ask you about it before I made the motion, but are you sure you're okay with this? I mean, given the circumstances, I don't want to trigger anything for you. No, no, absolutely not. No, I, I mean, I've been in Gamma Tau like two years and we never gotten the chance to know each other. I, but I just, I hope we miss talking to each other because of schedules. And not, and not because of... No, of course not. I, I really hope I haven't come off that way. If I have, I didn't mean to. No, I, I just... I never I never know what people think. I, I can only assume. They're like, why did she survive? No. The way I look at it is, at least there was a lucky one. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Michelle, could I borrow a dress for a date tonight? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so how should we get started? <laughs> Well, um, we need a theme, actors, which we'll use most of the girls here to draw on the guys, <laughs> food, we gotta do concessions, promotions, but most importantly, we gotta find a new location. Sounds exciting. <laughs> oh, I have a membership at the video store. Do you wanna swing by and grab some horror flicks for the weekend, damage our young, innocent minds? <laughs> Us headbangers, tis the season, fall is in the air. Are you ready? But now, yeah. Yeah. where you get to call in, let's go to our first call. Hello, caller. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, my name is Sarah and I am calling from Helens Valley Community Church. Ah, yes, Mrs. Barnhart. 
I don't want to have to cut you off. Five teenagers disappeared on Halloween night on their way to a rock concert. You promoted on your show. What is this, the 12th, 13th time that you've called into my show? Why don't you just do it to my face? Halloween night, my church. We will be having a town meeting in the basement to have Halloween re-banned. And I will be there. You heard it here. For the first time ever, I will be taking the show on the road. And now a word from our sponsor. All right, we're clear. Dewey, who let that whack job through the line again? Seriously, guys. We'll be right back following these commercials. <laughs> Robbie, speaking seriously, have you met our network producers? Having a location there? It's not gonna fly going live. Already thought about that, Tony. All we gotta do is pre-record the regular part of the show in advance. Then, we shoot the town hall meeting and edit it carefully, broadcast it later to show just what a looney tune that lady is. Right? You <laughs> Yo, with me? Boss, I'm with you, man. Anything you need to make happy, let's do it. <laughs> So, what are some of your favorite subgenres? Actually, I really like a good monster movie, but one of my favorites is Sleepover Party Slaughterfest. Dude, right on. That's what I'm talking about. I never would have guessed. Ahoy, landlubber. Welcome to the tape deck. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Michelle, this is Charlie. <laughs> Ahoy, nice to meet you. Uh, dressing up a bit early for Halloween. If me wants to keep me job, me best wear my pirate scarf all day. Is, is that you real accent, or are you pulling me arm? It is not, but fun to do nonetheless. Okay, this is really stupid. No, 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 keep it going. Um, I really like your costume. Seriously? This isn't my actual style. Uh, so I, if you think I'm cool because of that, I, I'm sorry, I, I have to let you down. <laughs> so uh, what brings you two scallywags down here? Uh, well, Heather thought we should do some research for taking the sorority hut off campus. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, the lap dance incident. I heard you guys were banned from campus. Yep, so now we're off to find a new location. You don't know of any houses for rent, do you? Mm, not offhand. My uncle, he had, ah, uh, houses, huh? My uncle might be able to help. I, I could give him a call and see. He has this empty building. It's uh, just up over the hill from the drive-in. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse us, we have a stack of videos and popcorn calling our names. Oh, uh, wait, wait, I, I didn't get your name. Michelle? <laughs> I guess I'll see you on the return. Hey, buddy, these are four for 99 cents. I'm right? on my break. Thanks, prick. Uh, like I said, it's nice this old building be used for something since the family doesn't come down here much anymore. Now, it's got power, but you gotta make sure the gas is in the generator at all times. Otherwise, you're gonna lose it. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us. Um, is it okay if we just take a couple days to think it over and- Actually, how much is it to rent the space for the event? Well, Charlie said y'all are doing this for a fundraiser? Yeah. Well, you can consider the space my donation. Are you serious? That's great, thank, thank you. you. Now, you probably won't see much of me. I got plenty to keep me busy all over the house. Just a little bit of a warning. There's a well in the basement. It's about a 40 foot drop. Spring dried up a long time ago. So if you fell down in it, you're a goner. I guess for safety's sake, I should probably go ahead and board it up before I head on out this evening. Great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amherst. I am so sorry. I had no idea it was a barn. If I had, I would have brought you. It's, it's perfect. Really? It's exactly what Sam and Josh always wanted, a haunted house in an actual barn. <laughs>
Hello, Sheriff Cooper speaking. What can I do you for? Coop, just the person I needed to talk to. Mayor, how are you? Well, I'd be doing a lot better if it wasn't for a certain problematic individual in this town. She apparently found some flyers about a haunted house being put on by one of the sororities. And it's the same night as the town hall Halloween protest meeting. I heard about that, a haunted house at the old uh, Douglas Slaughter property. Very spooky sounding. How can I help? Would you, would you mind staying nearby the location that night and, and just keep an eye on things, you know? That way I can, I can at least tell her it's being overseen. Sure, yeah, I'll patrol the area, maybe swing by the old drive-in, you know, check out the event from a distance, let the kids have a little fun. Thanks, Coop, I appreciate it. I think this is the last tree on the street. Yeah, and I think this is the uh, last house to inform about the hunt, too. Come in, uh, Michelle told me you'd be stopping by. Oh, oh please, sit down. Dad, you remember Heather, and this is her friend, Michelle. They are going to pick up some things. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I guess there's something I don't know about? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. <sighs> My lord. Is that little Heather? It is. <laughs> How have you been, Walter? Oh, now... You know it's Walt. Well, I can't complain. The old ticker's still kicking. How's your mother? She's doing better. Still has her good days and bad days. Been a rough few years between losing Dad and Josh. Sure. Well, we can all understand that. Um, you know, Michelle, fun fact. Walter here used to work in the mines in his younger days. Um, oh. He has a lot of really great stories. <laughs> stories that help Sam scare all the neighborhood kids. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the legendary grandfather. Well, I've been known to spin a yarn or two in my time. But I don't think that's what you two girls are here for, is it? No, we'd love to hear one from the man himself. <laughs> well... There is one story that I've never really told to another living soul. As you say, I worked for the coal company back in the 1930s, end of the 30s. They settled me with uh, this new guy, kid called Mitchell. <laughs> I remember he turned up for work his first day in a pair of them smart coveralls, name tag on his chest. I guess the kid was real proud. Uh, the townspeople were complaining about the smell of sulfur in the water. So they send Mitchell and me out to take a look-see, way out, back of beyond. And, uh, so as not to cause a stir in the neighborhood, they decided to send us out in the middle of the night. And of all nights in the year they could have chosen to send us, they chose Halloween. Strange thing is, when we got to the well, there was this old scarecrow on a pole right next to it, and set right on the wellhead was a jack-o'-lantern, carved, lit, eyes flickering in the dark. Kind of spooky, but no more than you'd expect to see on Halloween. And we could smell right away what the townsfolk were complaining about awful smell. Well, anyway, before I knew it, Mitchell's got a hold of the rope and he's climbing down into the well. He's gone about 20 feet down, so I uh, tossed my helmet down to him and had one of those uh, electric lamps on the front of it. Suddenly the rope yanks and the light from the lamp goes out and Mitchell starts shouting, Pull me up! Pull me up! I see him! I see him! It's the boogeyman! Pull me up! Uh, and the crank handle was going around so fast and it flew up and hit the scarecrow and hit the jack-o'-lantern and everything. Went down into the bottom of that well. Well, I peered down into the well, but I couldn't see a thing. Complete blackness. Utter silence. And then... The lamp on my helmet switched on and I see Mitchell's face looking back up at me. For a moment, that's all I can see. But 
then I see this clawed hand taking hold of Mitchell's hair and peeling it back off his head. What did you do then? What did I do? I ran. I ran like hell. The company tried to shrug it off. They called it a workplace incident. But you know, they never made any attempt to go down into that well and retrieve Mitchell's body. They filled it in, sealed it up, covered it over, and they put up a building over the top of it. And you know what building they put there. A bar. Oh, Dad, enough with your ghost stories. He thinks just because Sam fell for them, everyone will. This is all I could find. I hope it'll work for you. This is amazing. I, you have no idea how much it means to me to actually be able to use their real haunt props for our fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, think nothing of it. When Michelle asked me, it was a no-brainer. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniels. And thank you, Walt, for sharing this story with us. You're welcome. Oh, and girls, remember to follow the rules. We will, Walt. We will. Now get out there and raise some hell. Sam and Josh both said they saw them, you know. Saw oh, what? After I left the Harvest Dance, I... But they said they saw them, the, the monsters. I'm sure they thought so, but we don't know what kind of costumes those crazy people were wearing. It was Halloween, after all. I mean, did you see them? No, I just saw people in black robes. Since we're asking questions, do you really think they died? I don't know. I guess I like to think that Josh and Sam and the rest of your friends just decided they had had enough and took a leap and left this town and never came back. Knowing Josh, they're probably groupies for Demon Inferno somewhere. I like to think so. I mean, who knows? Maybe they will uh, come to our Halloween bash and crash the party. <laughs>
before the deltas show up for the mixer, I just want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for helping to make our upcoming fundraiser possible, especially Michelle. Michelle has put more work into this event, more so than even I had planned to originally. She spent countless hours there at that place by herself, bringing her designs to life. And I don't think there's anyone who knows how much Sam and Josh would appreciate it more than her. Michelle, would you like to say anything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so with the fundraiser opening next week, we'll finally get to honor Sam and Josh, something I couldn't have done without all of your help. <sighs> Let's party like it's our last hurrah! Thank you all for coming out. The hunt is just about to start. Make sure when you exit, you come back around to continue the party. The costume contest starts at 8 p.m. Don't get too scared in there. <laughs> and now some words from our sister, Heather. Tonight, we reclaim Halloween. We honor our lost and loved ones. And most importantly, we reopen the barn doors. Welcome to Sam and Josh's Haunted Barn 1992. Woo! Oh, rules. <laughs> Rule number one, the only way to exit is to finish, so there is no turning back. Uh, rule number two, no running. And rule number three, don't touch the monsters and they won't touch you. And in true urban legend fashion, before you can enter, you must knock three times on the barn doors and say trick or treat, Sam and Josh. Uh, anyone with tickets, meet me at the barn doors. <laughs> Good, right? I mean, we're pretty zombie-like, right? <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and crack open another brewski. There you go, Chet. Right. I mean, half my body is stuck under the ground, so the most that I can do is like reach my arms out and like try to grab somebody or like open my eyes real wide or open my mouth real wide like a zombie. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Okay, uh, how many beers you got back there? <laughs> Dude, I think you're in the wrong spot. I guess this must be the place. Yeah, it looks like it. Come on, we got work to do. Order, order. Folks, folks, quiet down. Now, now we've called this meeting because Miss Barnfart over here is, is upset because we've reinstated Halloween. She wants to get... The faster we can make this vote to reinstate the ban on Halloween, the faster we can shut down that barn party. We do not want a repeat of Weary Falls.
So, remember to only pass out candy to the people in scary costumes. Don't ask, it's some weird rule Michelle and Heather stipulated. And I'll be back for Phillips in a bit. Who dare enter my pumpkin patch? Dude, what the hell, man? Keep moving. Dude. There can only be one Jack. And I'm the real Jack. So piss off! That bar is now open. Please visit us for all our tasty treats and our hot buttered popcorn. And don't forget, our horror movie marathon continues right after this short intermission. Oh, wow, Sheriff. I didn't expect you to be coming by for the marathon tonight. Well, Joe, as much as I'd love to check out your fine array of films this evening, I actually wanted to see if I could park the cruiser here. You know, I wanted to check up on the kids at the haunt over the hill, you know, make sure things are kosher. Okay, Cooper, put it uh, by the snack bar if you don't mind. And then once you finish your little stakeout, Come on back and enjoy the show. Showing some good ones tonight? Oh, we're always showing good ones, but what are we showing? Oh, oh man, House of Dismembered Waitresses. You gotta see this one. Uh, double Aardvarkin, four smashed heads, actually triple Aardvarkin and quadruple Aardvarkin, 15 breaths, two scenes that don't make a lick of sense, gratuitous disco dancing, and it's that one with beach girls roasted on barbecue spits. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Joe, you have a strange way of selling your films that I do not understand, but I will admit, it does make me want to... Check it out, right? See you in a while. All right, folks. The bloodbath continues with our second piece. Enjoy the hunt. Thank you. Oh. Well, if it isn't the legendary lap dance Larry himself. I hear we have you to thank for this event. My apologies. I caused you guys any trouble last year, but you're welcome. <laughs> hey, are uh, Tracy or Jessica participating in the activities tonight? Yes, Larry. I hope you plan on making a large donation this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be your number one supporter. Enjoy. Two. Oh, hey, nice of you to join us. Why don't you come take a seat on the bed with us? Whoa, hold it there, Chief. We could use a big, strong man to help protect us from that deranged mechanic on the loose. We heard he's out looking for lonely schoolgirls. Oh, hell yeah! Hell yeah! The big, scary monster! <laughs> Hey, you want to mess with the nerd? Sure. Wow, Brett. You got them so good. Yeah? You girls like my scaring techniques? <laughs> wow. You gamma girls are looking so fine tonight, man. So hot, it's like staring into the sun or something, you know? Oh, yeah? You like what you see? Heck yeah, I do, but it's like, I can't look because I'm blinded by the hotness, you know? Brett, there's another group coming. Get in the closet. Oh, man. This is bull****. Uh, we'll talk later. Lucas, what are you doing, bud? You know you shouldn't leave your station. Go over there, bud. You'll get more scares while everyone's looking at me. Go on. Idiot. Sheriff Poop, come on down. I can assure you there is no underage drinking going on. I was hoping you wouldn't spot me so quick. Coming down to check on us, huh? Well, a little Barnhart, just making sure things aren't getting out of hand. Well, uh, since you're here, uh, you might as well partake in the fun. No charge? 
might take you up on that. It's been uh, ages since I've been in a haunted house. And we can have a beer with your name on it when you come back around. Mm. I'm on duty. Sheriff is headed over to enter the haunt. Let's push him to the front of the line and get him through and keep the party going and not scare everybody off. Corey? Got my candy in the dorm room. Can I snag some of yours before Lisa finds out? What don't you want me to find out? Uh, I was just looking for some more candy. I ran out already. Already. Hmm. Well, I guess I can go grab some more from my personal inventory. Follow me. Get in the zone. These girls are totally into me, man. I think I'm actually gonna get laid. This is gonna be the best day of my life. Whoa! Hey, Brett. Um, let's try again. But this time, let's amp it up a bit. Okay. Hey, Brett. It would be nice if you came out here. What are you, yanking it in there? Why are you dressed like that now? This costume doesn't even go with the set. In case you didn't hear, we got a five minute break to do whatever we want. Uh, is that a corn cob in your pants? Or are you just happy to see us? Can I say I'm really impressed with this costume? Thank you. My inspiration comes from future me. You know, first, Charlie, lowly video store clerk, but eventually, old senile pizza delivery man. <laughs> who, who are you? <gasps> <laughs> well, I, I think Heather has me beat costume-wise. What about my costume? <laughs> it's supposed to be a bitch in 1940s baseball babe with attitude, and nothing says attitude more than this here bat. Mm -hmm. Besides, if any of the frat dudes get a little too touchy-touchy with the sister, <laughs> see, I'll break their kneecaps with the peacemaker here. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> this is so fun. This reminds me of working at the roller rink. Have you been there? Oh yeah, I remember seeing you there all the time. Back when uh, I used to skate, when my legs worked. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't I, mean it. I'm just messing around. But I do remember seeing you there back when I would take my brother to skate. But uh, yeah, this seems like it's going pretty great so far. Yeah, I mean, Heather and I are so excited for, you know, Sam and Josh. And... Yeah, Sam, he, he really would have liked all this. He was your... Uh, Boyfriend, right? When all that happened? Yeah, no, we were friends. Um, I mean, maybe, who knows, like in another life or, or something. Um, anyway, is it true you didn't know who I was when you saw me at the video store? I told you, I, I didn't know at first. I mean, I probably wouldn't have sent you to check out a barn if I did. Just saying. Fair. Uh oh. Looks like a line's forming. I better get back to it before my boss starts cracking the whip. <laughs> hey, you should. No, she scares me. Oh, well, well. Oh, here. We are killing it. Has this feedback been good? Uh, I'm not sure. No one's come back around yet. I think people are just headed over the hill to the drive-in marathon, but as far as ticket sales go, we are raking in the dough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Thank you. Enjoy. Oh, gross. Can someone come down here and clean up the vomit off of the floor in front of the dungeon? Not it. This shit's everywhere. Uh, copy that. I'll send someone in shortly. Did you hear that? We just made someone puke. Oh, you scared me. Go ahead. Hey, I thought they told you the rules outside. You don't touch us and we don't touch you. Welcome to the slaughterhouse. I want your flesh. I'm the boogie man. <laughs> Tori, babe, even for a couple of bucks, this is pretty damn lame. 
Wait a second. Is that you, Lucas? No, it's not Lucas. Yeah, Toy, that is definitely Lucas. Yeah. No, I, I'm the boogeyman. <laughs> That mask sucks. And uh, did your mom make the costume too, loser? You know my mom's in county. I'm here doing charity work for the sorority girls around the corner. I'm sleeping in the back for a week, eating banana peels and sucking on apple cores. Okay. Okay, okay. Now this dude looks badass. Do me a favor, bud, and put that boogeyman out of his misery. <laughs> I'm the one with the costume busting my ass. What do you want? Next time you'll remember the safe word. And I might let you know. Thanks for supporting the hop, Becky! Now that's my type of girl. What, are you gonna punish me? Maybe I should. After the you pulled at the last haunt. Baby, you know lap dance Larry has got to get him some of those. Night moves. That's right. Stay in that chair, pig. Both of my girls? You have got to be Larry, Larry, you've been such a bad boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so bad. <laughs> How much money you got? What are you offering? More than you can handle. Many of you know me more as the father of one of the missing children, Sam Daniels. The truth is, the real reason he left that night was because Ms. Barnhart called me and asked me to have Sam collect canned goods on Halloween night as his punishment for a prank he played on her. Okay, settle down, settle down. It's true. I did ask Sam to do that in hopes of showing him the consequences of his action. Why is this the first time we're hearing about the truth? Hey, does anyone know where the full gas cans are? The generator's almost empty. Where, where'd you put the gas cans? I completely forgot with everything going on. Calm it's down. gonna be ruined Calm without down. electricity. It's okay, I'll go get them. Where did you put them? I left them in my car, but I'll grab them. I got no, it. it's okay, I'll get them. No, I got it. It's our haunt and I dropped the ball. There's a gas station 10 miles up the road. Just give me 20 minutes, I'll be right back. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's fine. It was just a little hiccup. Uh, yeah. Boo! Oh my God, I, I, I'm so sorry. It's, it's just you said hiccup, and then I did a hiccup thing, and then he, here we are. Uh, uh. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Um, it gives me a um, a yeah. reason to change. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, can you walk to the table? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Where is everybody? No, oh, steam locomotion. Real scary, girls. All right, roger that. I'll be ready. Is that a pig? Come here, piggy. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Oh, shit! Look, we should let the kids have Halloween. This is ridiculous, and you know it, Sarah. <laughs> Dr. Rock, I would like to hear what you have to say. Oh, 
Dr. Rock, what would you like to say? Or play, I suppose. <laughs> well, first and foremost, I want to extend my condolences to all the families who suffered from this terrible tragedy. The only people who should be blamed for what happened at Weary Falls are the cult members themselves who committed these heinous acts. Placing the blame anywhere else or on anyone else is unacceptable. I feel awful that these kids who went to a concert that I promoted have gone missing. And yes, you're right, this is, this is my keytar. Dr. Rock's touring days are long gone, but I still like to play music every now and then. It brings me enjoyment. Miss Barnhart, Halloween is their instrument. Let them have their fun. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Dottie. I found Jen's walkie, but no Jen. Also, I shit you not. But there's a trick-or-treater climbing out of the well. Someone needs to go fix that before we get sued. Devin, this is Michelle. Check it out. Can you cover again? Sure thing. <laughs> ah, hey, you might want to put something on since you're not in costume anymore. Oh, smart thinking, Lincoln. I better take this, too. In case there's any peacemaking to be done. <laughs> you <laughs> die. Welcome to Dr. Dingle Gary's play. Oh, it's you. Where the hell have you been all night? Some of us have actual jobs, Dr. Dingleberry. Look, it was supposed to say Dingle Gary. I don't know which one of you took it upon yourself to make it say this. <laughs> you know, where the hell is Tiff? I don't know, she left like an hour ago to get candy. That is so annoying, I can't find Jen either. Yeah, well, that sounds like a you problem. Here's your candy. You are a huge dick. Yeah, it is. Ew. <laughs> Sounds like we got some trick-or-treaters. Get in your spot, Dr. Dingle Gary. <sighs> Come in. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> oh my god. Is no one in their stations tonight? At least I can practice on you guys before the real trick-or-treaters get here. <clears throat> Meet our mad doctor. Pay no attention to his one eye. He's a little self-conscious. <laughs> Hello? Jen? Are you down here? You kiss me, then you punch me. Oh. <laughs> oh, how are you alive? I I missed you so much. How 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 did you get here? Listen, we, we don't have time for that right now. There are things walking around out there, and it is not safe. We need to hide. But th this is a haunted house in Helen's Valley. These are people from college. I... That's not possible. What do you mean? Well, I sent you in a van hours ago to go find help. Sam, that was three years ago. Where's Josh? 
What the hell is that? Who the hell did this? I've never seen it before. It, it could have been anyone. If you can hear me, it's really dangerous down here. Can you please make sure everybody exits through the front? I repeat, exit through the front. Okay, we have to go. Be quiet. Ah! Hello? Hello, Michelle? You were breaking up. I, I had to step aside to hear you. What's going on? going on. Dis dispatch. Dispatch, come in. Over. I know where we can find some important people. Barnhart is having a town hall meeting at the chapel, and of course she's putting the nail in the coffin of all things Halloween, and she's using you and the other missing kids as her reasoning. She told me she would. Sam. Where were you? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. <laughs> I just saw my sorority sisters eating each other's brains out. Of course I'll believe you. We managed to stop the feeding, and in doing so, we, we broke the golden rule. We tricked the tree. We got locked in the basement. The building somehow went up in flames. There was no way out except for this hole in the floor. It looked like some kind of well or something. I don't know. It just, all I can remember is waking up. I, I, I couldn't find Josh. I looked all over the place. I never saw him again. I couldn't even find a way out. But I saw them. They were there. They were fixed back up, pieced together. That's why they're back. They're back because they want to finish what we started. They, they're here for you. They're here for me. They're here for redemption. Sam, what's going on with your hand? It's the miner. Wrong? I don't know. I...
Okay, okay, we've talked about a lot tonight. The important thing is we get out and shut down that barn party. Enough. There's some real scary out there. And you have been using what happened to me and my friends to fuel your Halloween crusade for years. But you don't know what happened because you weren't there. And you know what? You will when those things start breaking down the door. What in tarnation is going on here? Sam? You're alive! Oh my. You're alive. How is this possible? I'll explain everything later, Dad, but you and everybody else, you guys need to stay inside, lock the doors, the windows, grab anything that you can that can be used as a weapon. Calm down, everybody. Keep your mud flaps closed. Come on, come on. Ah! It's just a Halloween pumpkin, Eddie. Who's got some candy corn? Get away from that! Don't touch it! Yeah, he does that. We're gonna need all the help we can get. What kind of tools do you have in that maintenance shed? Forgive us, Father. We're about to sin. thing we want is to take them on all at once, trust me. They're coming. What? Okay, as soon as they walk away, we make a run for the door. Okay. Go out this door. We halted at the best house on Davis Branch of Power. Ask one of our friends to show you to show you our amazing collection. Need some fixer up advice? We're here to fix you up right. Dave's tool shed is the place for all your To the well at the barn because now that they're dead all the others should be heading back and we can send them all back to hell together <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my God, Heather's at the barn. Well, Heather who? Josh's sister. Heather, she went to go get gas for the for the generators, and I I totally forgot. Michelle, you need to go right now. No, Sam, Sam. Seriously, where is everyone? I don't know. I came inside to find Michelle, and I ended up getting chased through the haunt by your sorority sisters. And I don't know what's wrong with them, but they attacked me, and I bashed them in the head with my brace, and, and there is something big in here, really big, flying around, following me through the barn. Charlie, there are birds and bats and owls all over this place. Wait, what did you do no, to the no, sorority sisters? No, it sister? is some kind of creature. I think everybody's dead, or, or, or undead, or something crazy. I don't know. Monsters? Uh... Those things? Huh. Nothing much. Just your average pig man and weird ass crow creature. Where have you been? Sam's back. What? Yeah. And everything, everything his grandfather said, the, the, the legend, it's all true. And it's Sam and I, we, we killed them. And now we have to take that bag and put it in the well and finish this. D did you say Sam's back? Yeah. He came through the well with the monsters. It worked. Actually, it worked. I can't believe it. You can't believe what worked? The, the knocking on the doors, the saying trick or treat, Sam and Josh. I, I just thought if Michelle was right and they really did unleash something in Weary, there was a chance that maybe they were still with those things somewhere and that maybe Sam and Josh would be released too. <laughs> and I mean, the minute you found that barn, I, I knew that if it was real, that if they came back on Halloween, I wanted the chance to end it. Oh, where's Josh? Sam now. <laughs> Michelle, I, I didn't think it was really gonna work and any and even if it did, I didn't think about the repercussions. I didn't either. At all. Um but I did build booby traps in here so we can get out. So um let's just Take the stuff, put it in the well, and just stay close to me, and uh, we'll get out of here. Oh my God. Run! What are we waiting for? Just the right. <laughs> I 
don't know, but it needs to go to the basement. Are you sure this net can hold the weight of a super beast? Michelle, there's nothing in here. Sorry, Charlie. cowboy himself. Look who decided to show up at the last minute. Hey. I knew you were alive. I'm back. What took you so long? Well, I had to wait till the end to save the day. plan worked. <laughs> I'm just I'm really happy. What do you mean? I, I'm just happy. <laughs> <laughs>
castle with torches in hand. They found an army of the dead singing with the band. You can't kill me. Sins of heaven a day. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. Cause I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I'm already dead.
It's not enough to try for them. It's not enough to cry for them.